In this video, watch us build these bird boxes and why we want to add them to our garden and watch Danny nearly die in the process of putting them up. We also painted and put up these bottles to expand our growing space. If you want to see how to make them, you can watch that over here. And we're also going to try and save some of our seedlings because they've taken a bit of a hit. So drop a comment if you can see what's happened to them and let us know because we really need some help. But in the meantime, let's get on with putting these bird boxes up. Is it just me or does every man have a pile of wood scraps that he might use one day? Found anything good? Not yet. Whilst he's rummaging, let me tell you why we want bird boxes in the first place. Because of this. Our neighbours cut the tree down. So we're going to fix that problem today. We seem to have found some bits then. Yeah, we've got some bits here. I've got some measurements from the internet. So we're going to cut them to size and we're going to catch up with you after. They don't really go go any sizes. I'm just going to wing it. I think these are just going to be for the back. I don't know. Sides and something else. I'm pretty sure this is how we make everything. Whilst Danny's setting up, I'm just going to tidy up this mess that the birds have made. <laughs> I bet they're just watching and waiting for me to clean it so they can mess it up again. <laughs> And then another 24. We can make three. Yeah. Potentially. Mm -hmm. I never doubt him, but sometimes I'm a little bit skeptical. It looks like you're onto something. Yeah, all the cuts are done. We've got enough to make two bird boxes. And just like that, five minutes later, we have a bird box for free and not 20 pounds. It's always a five minute job with you. <laughs> it yeah. actually has been about half an hour. Half an hour for two bird boxes, still pretty good. The only thing we left to do is just sand the edges, potentially paint them. And I'm going to draw some drainage holes on the bottom. Danny's just finished the bird boxes. And before we put those up, we're going to paint the bottles so that they can dry and here we've got the colours we've gone for, nice summery colours so hopefully it'll brighten up the garden a little bit Hold the lid This is just the question We're going to move it after we've done the shot the ones that you got yesterday mm. Sold the yoghurts and... John is just finishing off the last bottle whilst they're drying we're going to put the bird boxes on the tree and we're going to come back and we're going to do second coat on the bottles I'm pretty sure that this isn't safe. I'm not sure why. I just have a feeling. How many extension leads have we got here? It'll be fine. If you don't think that's safe, wait until you see this ladder stunt. <laughs> Before you overcome all the obstacles of trying to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we really need to sort this out. I'm through. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> So the idea is, I hop onto the fence. <laughs> Step one. So athletic. Done. Take my ladder. <laughs> Bend down. <laughs> Use those hamstrings. Oh my god. Okay, ladder is here. I need to throw the ladder over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lean the ladder onto the tree and attach the birdhouse. These birds better be grateful. I mean, that looks as safe as it's gonna get, so I'm just gonna hop onto the ladder. Why don't you need the birdhouse first? Yeah, can you pass me, can you pass me <laughs> the birdhouse? Yeah? Yeah, actually, to be fair, you could even come out here. Just be careful with the nails. I think 
and some brambles. Oh, Shit. No. Do you want me to do something? Do you no. want some gloves? Ah, oh, gloves would have been a good idea. Can we get oh, them? no, it's okay. Where is the bramble? Oh. Oops. Is that tree even safe? I don't know. We're about to find out. I'm onto the ladder. <laughs> if I fall in there. Um, I can't get you out. I know. Can you pass me a bird's house? Thank you. What do you reckon? Here? Oh, the ladder's going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> do you see that? Yes. It might be just easier for me to do the split. The screw just broke. Okay. One <laughs> sec, one sec. Got an adult. Okay. That'll do. That's one birdhouse. Right, okay. Up on the tree. Oh. Mine accident. Didn't see the brumbles over here. But I'm pretty sure that'd be fine. And the bigger issue I have now, now is that I just dropped my drill down there. Luckily, it's a wired one, so I can just pull it back up by the wire. Yeah, buddy. Now, imagine if that was battery operated drill. I would have had to go right in the brambles. So that's one birdhouse up. We just need to do the second one and figure out a way of retrieving that ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. You safe? Yeah. So I can just put it like here. And then we can see it from the garden. Solid. That's birdhouse number two. What do you think of the birdhouses? Do you like them? Yeah, they look so cool. I just really hope that someone moves in. Are you forgetting something? What do you mean? How did you get in the tree in the first place? What do you mean? Where's your ladder? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Uh, no man left behind. Although it's not even my real ladder, it's only my step ladder. We really need to clean that mess as well. Treacherous. Bottles still aren't dry yet, so we'll do a bit of transplanting while we're waiting. So the plan with these, once they're done, is we're going to replace these little bottles. And I think we mentioned previously, we put flowers and plants in here, but last year they dried out so quickly in the hot weather. Let's go and get some plants that need potting on. And we'd also really appreciate your help because we've run into some issues with some of the other ones that we potted on last week. So let us know in the comments, we'll go have a look at those as well. We moved all of our plants that we're going to transplant to the greenhouse now. Before we move on to actually transplanting and we wanted to share the problem that we ran into mm -hmm. last week. And uh, as you can see, some of our plants are going yellow. This is a courgette that we started probably a bit too early. Yeah, we know. And this is one of the tomatoes, which is looking really sad. And we have a, we're not sure of what the problem is. So what we did was we took away one of the lights to start with. Um, but the tomatoes started going really leggy. So we don't think it's that because we've planted these tomatoes and this one at the same time. And at the point last week, these were ahead, but now those look really good. Yeah, you can see these, these are look looking, really sad. these are looking pretty healthy. The only issues that we have with those now is they are getting a bit leggy, but that's again, because we went from two lights down to one because we suspected the light might be too intense for those plants. But now we suspect it might be the compost and if you do know what the issue is please leave us a comment below so today we're going to try everything into a different compost which is specifically for vegetables and we hope that will be a bit better i think yeah, yeah. that's a lot of yogurt i actually want to work out how many kilos of yogurt that is is that 500 grams that's a kilo. That's a kilo. 39, 40. 40 kg of yogurt. <laughs> of yogurt. <laughs> Last few pots. And um, we've got quite a few. And we're just going to put all of this 
in there. Hopefully it fits. First time it's been warm enough to actually sit outside and eat. Mm. <laughs> I think somebody's after your wrap. I've just finished the bottles with their second coat, so I'll just leave them here to dry. Once they're dry, we can replace those small bottles. So we're going to start our vertical garden 2.0. Meanwhile, John is just finishing off all the seedlings and transplanting them so there will be some cautious that we're just gonna have to sacrifice because we are running out of space some sweet peas we might try and leave in the greenhouse over here these are just some zinnias and some nasturtiums which we might have to leave as well because we don't have that much space john here is just doing all the greens some little gem lola rosso kale pak choy yeah some more random bits that we don't know where to fit i think that's kale more flowers that's just going in the compost and over here we've actually started some uh, beetroots and some radishes so they've been doing pretty good these are actually. probably the best looking plants out of all of our plants yeah they look pretty good they're happy out here we keep them covered just in case just for that little bit extra warmth and now I'll just go and show you what we have under the green lights, uh, under the grow lights. We also have our flamingo tree, which is getting some nice shoots. And the patio rose starting to grow nicely. But now let's go and show you what's under the lights. We have all of our tomatoes. We have the yellow pear tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, marman tomatoes. These are just a bunch of cherry tomatoes that we have left in the seed trays that are potentially going to have to go into bigger pots. A couple of huge courgettes. I don't know what's going to happen with them. Obviously, we started them a bit too early. We have a bean, a runner bean, I think. That is a melon. We have a cucumber. That's just a tray of basil and coriander mix. A big tray with mixed flowers, that's an aubergine, 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 nasturtium, sweet peas again. On the bottom we have some more tomatoes, this is more of the yellow pear tomato, and I'm pretty sure that's the cherry tomato. These are all of our peppers, uh, some of them are jalapenos I think. More melon, beans, just a random coriander, and potentially more melon at the back. And we have a full tray for companion planting, which is the marigolds for pest control. Up on the windowsill, as we are running out of space on the shelves, we have only like one, two trays potentially, and that's what John is doing now. So on the windowsill, we have some corn, another melon, and a tray full of marigolds and aubergines. And that is more or less everything we are planting. Out with the old, in with the new. Just going to remove those bottles. The way we secured them last year is with two small screws, which I'm going to reuse for the bigger bottles this year. And I'm just going to remove the peak gravel that we put at the bottom, just to improve the drainage. That's our vertical garden 2.0 complete. We have four bottles over here. We're probably going to put one more, so it's like about my height. And then we have another four that are still drying over there that we're going to re use to replace those four. And potentially, we're going to use the same bottles for over here. We can stack them up against the wall and even some more over here. We're just trying to maximize the growing space as much as we can. Just finished potting up the last of the plants. It's been a really busy one for us this week. We hope you're enjoying all these little projects as much as we are. And if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And join us again next week for more exciting gardening and DIY projects. <laughs> and 
have a guess if we actually tidied up under the pergola again. Nope, next, next week she said, when you see the mug of tea in the hand, no more work <laughs> is getting done. See ya.